Hello everyone, Ilya Marchenko here, and I'm continuing to bring you stories from professional tennis players. Today's story is from Ukrainian WTA player Katarina Zavatska. So, uh, my famous story about a spider. Spider? I woke up on Monday morning pretty early. It was nice weather, sunny weather. I was really happy. Uh, that day I supposed to leave on the tournament in Switzerland by car, alone. She was alone. I start packing. I took uh, like um, a box, like a bag to pack everything, like some kind of food inside. Uh, so I took it from the balcony. I started to check if there is nothing um, like inside and just like with my hands like this. And then uh, bam, big pain on my uh, finger. Ah, my hand! And at the beginning I didn't understand, it was just very painful for two seconds and I thought maybe there is, there was some needles, you know, like some needle which uh, just did like this uh, with to my finger. And then I looked at it and I saw the, the two, two bites like this uh, and it was bleeding. Nothing happened, but I'm bleeding. I didn't understand, like the first second I couldn't understand what's, what's happening. It was like a little stress for me and so I looked back at the box to see what was inside and I see a big, huge spider like this, but really. Huge, 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 huge! And me, I have a phobia on spiders, so of course my reaction was um, pretty, pretty big. <laughs> So I saw the spider and I saw my finger and I couldn't believe that it's, it happened that the spider bites me and I started to hold my finger like that so the poison doesn't go inside of my blood. <laughs> so I was holding the finger so so tight that I didn't feel the finger anymore. I don't feel it. I don't feel anything. So I thought, okay, I feel really wrong, I'm not feeling my finger, but it's because I really um, tied it like this. And I started to call everybody, nobody was answering me. I, I was alone at home, so I was afraid that if something happened to me, I will be alone and I will die. <laughs> Very funny. I was really stressed, crying so much, screaming at home alone. I didn't know what to do, so I called my doctor. Phone works. A doctor told me, okay, send me the picture of the spider because um, I don't know what is a spider. And so I sent him the picture, then he said, okay, wait like five seconds, I will look at it. And he calls me back and he say, look, the spider, it was pretty big and I don't know what is it. For sure you will not die, but you need to go to the pharmacy to buy antibiotic and... Consider antibiotics, possibly amputation. I was even more stressed, more crying, screaming to the, uh, to the phone. <laughs> Who's the doctor that I'm so stressed? And then um, I went to the pharmacy in my pajama. Guess where I was last night? Mark Foley's pajama party. Because I was, um, I uh, didn't have time. I thought, okay, uh, maybe I'm dying, so I need to go now. <laughs> and so I went to the pharmacy very fast. It's like five minutes away from my home, and um, I arrived there uh, in my pajama. <laughs> I took a jacket, of course, but. So I went there, like I tried to be calm, to not really like make people worry about me and think that what's happening. So of course I was like calm, came to the pharmacy and say, look, you know. I'm calm, I'm extremely calm. And then I started to cry like crazy. I said, the spider bites me, what to do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I started to scream so much in the pharmacy. Like I was so stressed and they gave me so many medication. Heavy medication. And um, I remember that I forgot my money because <laughs> I was so stressed and I came out from the from apartments just like very fast. So they gave me all of this for free and I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I went back and of course the spider was there in the box because I didn't, uh, I didn't close the box. Hi, my name's Lucas. And my um, suitcase was open. And the spider was just near, I mean, the box with the spider was just near the suitcase. So I was like, oh no, what I'm gonna do with the spider? I'm so afraid, I I don't know what to do. And it was took me 30 minutes. I, I did a video call with my dad because I was so stressed <laughs> to be alone. <laughs> 
I did a video call with my dad too and he was helping me how to kill the spider because I was afraid that maybe it's gonna jump again, bite me again so I was like going crazy about that I killed it um, within 30 minutes it was a really tough battle <laughs> There's no way he could survive So then uh, of course I took antibiotic I left the tournament alone I was so stressed the tournament was so bad <laughs> because I was so exhausted, so stressed out with all of what happened so finally, yeah, I took antibiotic to, to prevent any infection, but it was a, a nightmare for me. <laughs> I'm a killer, a stone-cold killer. So I became uh, famous with the spider story. <laughs> and in fact, this spider was living in my balcony for four days and I didn't kill it and I saw it and I never killed it. I thought, okay, I would just let it be, you know. And I never killed it, and it was a mistake. And then the spider, okay, not didn't kill me, but he tried, you know. Nice try. So that's my story. Life on tour can be very unpredictable, and sometimes even dangerous. So hit that like button and subscribe for more. I'll be back.